Hello there everyone and thank you for rejoining me once again here in TNO, the last of Europe, which we're using this mod, the East is Red, in which we're talking about, this is Sufan. Commander Tang, in the case of Mongolian counter-revolution is complicated and the central government is watching us closely so we can't afford to make mistakes. In this case, there are both Mongolian forces and the reaction in Mongolia and with sectarian regional rivalry and the relationship is inextricable and difficult to sort out. Then we cut quickly cut the mess to find the principal and accessory, set up a crime to start the trial and collect evidence around as long as we hand over to the police or people here so that the central government knows that we dig the root of the reaction dead on the dead on the line. Commander Tang, the more reactionaries we dig up, the more credit we will get. Well, all the top Mongolian officers should be tried, pick a few nobodies as a breakthrough, and confirm the counter-revolutionary crimes. To do with Zhu or Wu Long Fu's faction, we should find another relationship between them and Zendimbal and convict him of collaborating with the enemy defecting and don't spare any of his men. Make sure they're completely defeated and don't give a chance to reopen the case. Should we extend the Persian local level? I think so. We must eliminate all those pricks in the society to stabilize ourselves. Then carry a prosecution campaign in all Mongolian areas and give indicators according to the number of people. If there's anyone who can't report the crime, just ask the local officers. We do it right now. If you want to read the pure Mongolian purge Mongolian separatist, please go right ahead. I think we're just to before it too. So, yeah, we've got to finish this no matter what the cost is. As the game lagging? No, no, there we go. Everything ends. The rebellion was quashed and allowing us to take a short break to carefully and conscientiously decide the direction of policy and carry out their next operation. Hopefully this rebellion will teach us, teach us some lessons as well as teach those who uh, don't like us. Who the heck is this? Quintists? Lucito, huh? But we have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm while we're waiting for our focus to finish as uh, deficit's looking bad. Growth is looking okay. Debt to GDP ratio has much more stabilized, which is great since uh, we... Well, we're looking pretty good overall. I mean, we got a big old chunk of Mongolia. Most of Mo a good chunk of Mongolia. Not all of Mongolia. Um, yeah. Oh, that fails. Yeah, I'd like to have all of Mongolia, but we don't. This is Northern China, Central Steppe. Well, depends who you ask, I guess. Yeah. Kahar. But we will see. Oh, look at that. We have a little bit of money. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, hello. Um, ordinary, major stuff, like once again, um, get trace reserves, slightly increase inflation. I love this one. This one looks so, it, it seems good. Uh, we have 70 political power as is. Small amount of debt. I don't want any more debt. Yes. No major issue at this time. Please select one of the major issues. So, interact with the secretary, no. Uh, Madagascar's falling apart, counterweight. Still can't do anything here yet, but we gotta wait and see what we can do. Oh! Oh, hello. Uh, remnants of Ma's army. Well then. Oh, are you guys not as strong? Bear the consequences. Although Bogu is a foreign minister, it seems that Mongolian affairs were the problem of the ministers of war, war long ago. Bogu didn't hate him. After all, it's a gosh darn. It's godsend to have a few days of leisure in the barren base, but Boku and the end, a man who cannot stand loneliness, he still rests to look to the bookshelf in front of him. What should I read today? Bogu's fingers bounced back and forth over the spine of a row of Marxist Leninist works and finally stopped in front of a pamphlet, Lenin on National Self Determination. The bourgeoisie always puts its national demands first. The proletariat considers national demands subordinate to the interests of the class struggle. Bogu's voice showed up, but he was still reading softly. Ukraine has the right to form such a state. We respect this right and we disagree that the great Russians have the privilege of ruling over the Ukrainians. Bogu stopped severing Lenin's teachings, instantly thoughtful, put down the booklet, sat at the table with, inf with a pen, and began writing a letter. A few days later, Bogu goes to the central office, uh, only to learn that the letter he was forwarding to Chairman Mao had been lost. A uh, choked speech, thus Bogu turned around and walked back to his office, um, sitting down on a chair, purging Mongolia heavily. The issue of the Hui also had no response. These guys have not considered the consequences. What does consequences mean? That's a good one. You should do okay. Uh, be aggressive. Be, be offensive. Especially you guys. You should do alright. I'm surprised these guys rebelled, but, you know, they have only two divisions, and they're both right here, so... Anything else we do should be okay. Even though, it just gives them more army XP, which you do like. Maybe the manpower for it. I don't think we have the, uh, guns for it, but whatever. Uh, 70% is not bad still, though. Not bad, but Happy New Year, everybody. We're now approaching 1963, finally. Uh, I have a caffeine addict. Jesus Christ, I should not have caffeine when I'm recording this. But whatever. Things happen. Gaermo. 1952's infantry kit. How about a 1958 infantry kit? That sounds like a swell thing to have. 
Welsh Unionists win the elections. Good job, Wales. Good job. 70.8%, huh? Need more growth. Inflation is going up a little bit more, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. Dulan, huh? Yeah, I don't think they'll be able to win there. That's fine. And they should be dead. Yay! There, do that. And then do that. Because this doesn't need any extra compliance, and that's where capital is. It should be pretty good, right? Right. Everything ends. Oh, hello. Cool. Did we make that division? Oh, we were going to. Um. Well, we didn't do this one, so if you want to do this one, please go ahead. Designate a Han party committees to local. If we continue to give the right to appoint and dismiss local party committees after one rebellion, the party regime will never indeed be at peace inside the wall. The long dark corridor emanated the heavy clang of the cell door. Ma Jian uh, come out, the guard with a gun called out from inside the cell. After the words, a tired figure accompanied by the clattering shackles slowly came out, although wearing a clean prison uniform, but face and body were also cleaned by the jailer, but can cover the slightly bleeding ankles and wrists. Today, the former leader of the Ma's army will be ex on the execution ground, soon as seeing the last formalities, due to the unique identity of the prisoner. The local officer needs to identify the prisoner before the execution. Ma Ji Yuan was taken to the waiting room and brought before the chief, looking well-dressed. PLA officer. Looking at the well-dressed PLA officer, he said with non-emotion, we have interrogated. What do you need to identify again? Just carry out the execution. The officer ignored him, but held his glasses and swept the file on the table but one by one, then looked up at the Ma Ji Yuan, with a drained, with, who was drained of all color and led her alongside. General Ma, you have a national grudge and a family grudge all in one, but we communists have no grudge against you, so why can't we fight the Japanese together? You guys, the communists crushed your religious faith. How can I say idly by? I've been compelling reason to explain the above misunderstanding to you, but let me make clear the Central Committee's meeting beforehand. After saying that, the officer gave a document to him. We still sincerely hope to be friends with General Ma as long as you can sign this letter of repentance. We promise to restore all of your reputation and you can also become a general again. Guard and a pen to Ma Jiuan, and eagerness flashed in the officer's eyes. Sign it. Ma Jiuan ignored the cell and focused his eyes on the words of repentance. Only word pierced deeply into his brain, making him spurt fire from his eyes. The secretary next to the officer, seeing Ma Jiuan dazed, stood up and said, General Ma, don't hesitate. This is a chance for you to change your ways. And all of you, China could only be saved without the communists and the Japanese, and everything he did was by all his will and the people's hearts. Ma Jiuan did not even think about reconciliation, let alone repentance of his sins. He held his head high and willingly gave his life for the jihad to save China. In this situation, the officer had to, had to sigh and wave his hand to indicate that the guard would push him out. The cell fell into a long silence. Time slow passed well, slowly, and the waiting was torturous. A shot all end. Solve the problem. The Ma Hushan's conspiracy? The outer issue of Outer Mongolia hasn't finished. A comrade stationed in the Hotan region of Xinjiang secretly sent terrible news. The rather brash Ma Hushan in the Hotan barracks seemed to have gathered a small faction ready to plot sabotage uh, with, to our relationship with General Ma Zongyin. At the same time, we were struck by Mongolian independence. We had to do something. Trouble never seems to end. Are they rebelling? Ah, construction, though. Two admin offices. Ooh. Ooh, production unit. Hospital. Fusilla. Ooh, growth increased by 0.5%. I gotta go with that one. The Mahu Shan's conspiracy. The comrade station in Hotan have recently warned us that because we are expanding too much energy on the Mongolian issue and relaxing our attention to Xinjiang, Ma Hushan, who is in the Hotan now, prepared to purge her party's influence in one fell swoop so that we may lose Ma Zongying's trust. As long as the only response for now, Ma Hushan's conspiracy must be defused as possible before things get worse. Moving to thwart us. Expected to change dramatically in 129 days. Wait. Separate Ma Hushan from his cronies. When we move again, 150 political power. Okay. Delay for a short time. Uh, okay. Force reform. Redemption land. Redemption land. I'm going to go with force reform. The peasants use the theory of karma to explain that what the dictatorship of the proletariat is. But it's doubtful whether this is scientific. Moreover, our local cottages were happy to follow the public opinion to mobilize the poor peasants to fight against the landlords, and did not set the standard of land distribution according to the local conditions, so it's inevitable that mistakes would occur. Oh, this is also this one too. Gonna read this one, please go ahead. Later to Ma Zong. Oh. Oh, we get cores here. In Inner Mongolia, that'd be really nice too. We need to get more political power up too soon. Uh, for five. Well, we got more political power. Uh, we get two cores. 
After nearly half a century of war and brutal oppression by the KMT, people's livelihoods have been withered and starvation has spread throughout China. With the liberation of New Each area, we should rebuild the local government as soon as possible to consolidate the rule and let people trust us. That seems like we should just go and core all this stuff and it should be okay. 124 days. We can still do this again. Maybe we'll get some more stuff here later on. Uh, we need more political power, though. Yes. Deny Allah. New conspiracy from the West. Take Xinjiang first and take the Central Plains was Ma Zongying's wish to Ma Hushan before he left for the Soviet Union. It was also the spiritual pillar of Ma Hushan. Ma Zongying, Ma Hushan, and Sheng Shikai fought five battles in Xinjiang to restore the Ma clan's glory. If the Soviets did not intervene, they would almost have certainly succeeded. Ma Zongying decided to accept the invitation of the Soviet representative and went to Moscow to further his military studies so he could rise again to completing his studies. However, after returning from the Soviet Union, Ma Zongying's ideas changed drastically as if he had been brainwashed by communism completely ignoring the clan full of proletarian and socialism. What Ma Hushan could not tolerate was that Ma Zongying contacted Shangxi, accepted the appointment, and was subjected to the constraint of the CPC. It can only be the Ma clan that unifies China, not the CPC. Ma Hushan is just a general, and in the face of high position of Ma Zongying, he cannot replace him, but he has two advantages. First, Ma Zongying's excellent reputation cannot be separated from the clan to his full support. Now he ignored the clan's interests, naturally causing dissatisfaction to the clan. Ma Hushan is one of the clans who is naturally qualified to provoke contradictions to win the clan's support. Second, Ma Hushan is in the front line, at the center, allowing him to quickly, uh, quickly uh, scope out the monitor, monitor the situation. And such a nobody is an intermediary for some people who want to get power but cannot. Such as a wealthy gentry. After all, all these people do not want Ma Zongying to take their lives in the name of revolution. Therefore, Ma Hushan, with a stealthy strategy, takes the power of Ma Zongying to his advantage. By then, do first reports later, uh, do does a later report. Even though Ma Zongying is so unwilling, he also would accept the status quo. He's in action. Deny Allah. Remove over the suspicious ad. Walk together. Oh God. Ineffectual remedy. Remove it. And get a tight hug. Oh my God. Consume too much of the gun from or deny Allah. Mm. Five percent more stability, or ten percent more stability. We definitely need more. Oh my God, we're losing political power every day. Oh, because of the disciplining. Oh crap. Uh, one of the more gatherings is one of the one more risk of unrest. Immediately stop all religious activities, seal off Muslim worship temples, seize all Muslim reactionary propaganda, and fire religious books. We also consume too much of the government's power to solve these problems. Ma Zongying is attacked. Oh crap, we're on a political power. I spent in the city's Ma Zongying's monthly routine. It would go through Hotan City in a particular route to see the people and settle their mind. This move brought Ma Zongying popularity, as was among other members of the Ma's clan, which made some members of the Soviet parliament quite scandalous. Today is another inspection. Ma Zongying, as usual, is riding a horse, slowly walking into the market, and security guards follow. Merchants and passers by on both sides are bustling, vendors coming in an endless stream. When they meet him, they do not have to salute Marshal Ma Zongying, but they did their business as usual. Ming Yu, a member of the CPC, happened to be shopping at the market, and although he was used to seeing Ma Zongying's team, he should said hello out of friendship. After negotiating the price of the lamb, he left the meet with the shopkeeper and turned around to greet Ma Zongying's group. At that moment, a non-store suddenly rushed out like a beggar-like person, with ragged clothes and messy hair like carrying something in his arms straight to Ma Zongying's team and go. A uh, guard rushed to stop a hand, almost knocked apart. The beggar still does not relent and just desperately speaks, I'm dying of hunger, I'm dying of hunger. The guard captain pulled Ma Zongying's uh, mount back and said, General, this beggar is a fraud. He is a fraud, which is... Has starved to the extreme people, strength is still so strong. Said late, uh, then fast. See Mong Young tree leave. The beggar pulled the thing out of his arms on the fly, thrown over. Grenade. Oh. The grenade was in the mass. In a mass. The crowd ran and shouted chaos. Flash and blood was flying and wailing everywhere. Mao Zongying was blown up all over the body, but the men grabbed to the hospital. The guards controlled the beggar, twisted them to the prison, and they were soon transferred to Mao Hushan's camp to be interrogated. And the scene is all witnessed by Meng Yu. The party branched to the Xinjiang needs review. Political honesty. Political practicality. Ooh. Sincerely treating friends, which is a party's consensus, will lead us to harvest the best friendship. Political practicality. It's a party's consensus not to use those who do not benefit us. Uh, and this will lead us to reap the most glorious reward. Election and arrest. In the days when Ma Zanying was hospitalized, the Soviet conference elected Katubek as acting head of the administration. Katubek, a Kazakh, was elected because of his reputation for building education and helping people's livelihood, but he was not a member of the Ma's clan. Ma Hushan brazenly sent soldiers to surround the venue on election day. Holding a revolver, he swaggered to the stage and kicked over the ballot box. The lid flipped open and spat out the beige ballots. Don't laugh at my rudeness, it's just that this election doesn't count. Why? Ma Hushan sneered. 
Uh, the military investigation found that the culprit who blew up the chairman Mao Zedong Ying was a member of the East Turkic Counter Revolutionary Group uh, and was planning the attack and was among you. The crowd of floor immediately let out an angry and noisy questioning sound. What evidence do you have? Uh, no interruption of the election process. Ma Hu Shan ignored them and removed a list of his, from his pocket and started naming and arresting people. But unexpectedly, the delegates on the stage spontaneously surrounded the man a human wall to block Ma Hu Shan's soldiers. The scene became more chaotic, especially when the people outside the wall knew that Ma Hu Shan's soldiers did not have, have live ammo. They resisted even more fiercely, pushing, shoving, and fighting. The Chinese comms representative, Fu Hai, tried to walk up to the stage was stopped by guards who looked at Ma Hu Shan from afar and said, General Ma, the investigation of the case is a joint effort between you and us. You cannot act unilaterally to make an arrest. What else do you want to say? The explosives flowed from your barracks. Why didn't you see the, uh, you actively deal with it? Instead, you came here in a hurry to make an arrest. Quartermaster, security, the guard on duty has been arrested. Who else do you want to arrest? Isn't there anyone from the upper class? Mahu Shan pointed his gun to the crowd under the stage. The upper class people are here. Fu Hai was speechless. You may resist, but if you can run out of the, here, I won't be named Ma. Uh, since we got the discipline thing done, I want to discipline this group again. That'd be bad. Uh, you need 50 political power to do that too, but whatever. I'm going to praise this group. Yay. I want Mao to win. Even they're still losing political power. But it's doing way better than we did before. Uh, we do have political practicality, though. No way to escape. The life imprisonment of is tedious and lengthy. Meng, you can only sit on a cold and biting floor uh, inside the empty walls, house with walls staring at the watch. Brass round frame, woven strap, four Arabic numerals, and hands constantly rotated clockwise at speed. Since leaving mundane affairs, this may be the first time he felt the passage of time from his body, like a bucket that can't plug the hole, keep leaking, can't stop. Uh... Ma Hushan wholly sealed off the premises. Everything in the house had been taken away. Their bodies had been searched, except for the carefully hidden watch, leaving only qu a few quilts to ensure they didn't freeze to death during the night. There was no chance to resist, as hostages, they could only wait for the party central committee to rescue them through negotiations. Only waiting can be done now. Oh well. At least you had a crisis. Chinese democracy activist Wen Yidao was killed. Oh. If you want to that, please go ahead. is looking not too bad, though. So, we're still trying core stuff here. Drastically changed soon, too. Maybe delay it. And now it's the source of the explosives. The consequences of doing so, me, we cannot predict. Oh, bro, we have, like, no political power. All confessions retracted. See you in the future. Bro, like, what the heck? You definitely need to get more political power than what we have right now. Hopefully we don't fail. I don't want to fail at all. But well, you literally don't get enough political power. I mean... Budget balance effect. I even did temp tax to get more political power too. I mean, yeah, maybe we shouldn't be doing the other one, but whatever. Uh... Not good. Um... Get more political power. Well, let's save just in case. If this goes poorly, it goes poorly. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, still training. Good. Delay it. Delay it. We're on reach. In the beginning, we should not attack Mongolia. These were the first words of Mao Zedong's opening at the emergency meeting. And the implication was clear to rebuke the crowd for not stopping themselves from insisting on recapturing Mongolia. Everyone in the room bowed and dared not make a sound, clenching their backs to listen to the lecture. Zhu and Lai, cold sweat, hesitantly leaned forward and said, Chairman, it is their intelligence. And Lai, no, no need to speak. I will pro I provoke then. I should take responsibility. People are thinking how to take responsibility. I was the one who bent on the matter, only concentrated on Mongolia, but forgot about Xinjiang. and cannot draw energy to deal with this Xinjiang conspiracy. I'll make a profound interview at this point. No one dared to say yes or no. Since the situation in Xinjiang is irrevocable, irrevocable, consider it pass and defunct and leave it alone. Focus all your attention on Mongolia and do what we are doing. No one dared to say yes and no one dared to say no. Let's leave this thing to Lin Biao, Biao and others to provoke Mongolia to go to war with us. He also was a part in it. Someone looked back at Lin Biao sitting in the back. He, expressionless, sitting dry in his chair, two nostrils just breathing no reaction at all. In the future, don't make such things happen again. Dismissed. As this is a consequence, we no longer have the right to intervene in the future of Xinjiang and devote our remaining energies to other matters. That's stupid. I'm going to go back and make sure we actually can do okay there. Um, I don't like that at all. That's really not fun. That's not good. Market in Baotu. It's a necessary transportation of the border, but also the state of the people. Uh, business people. But in recent decades, the war blocked the commercial roads. Several extinct. 
Now that we've opened the road to Mongolia, the next step should be to revive the Baotou market, encouraging merchants to trade and enrich the base's financial And income. now, everybody, I did it again, even using a few slight cons commands. Don't worry about the political power here. Um, it still failed, no matter what you did, so it kind of sucks, but, uh, oh well. Um, this is our faction. Is this going to hurt us make us do well? I don't know. Let's see. If this doesn't do well for us, then we're not going to... You know, see this. Arts policy. Well, it's not bad. Fierce, uh, let's go see. And out. Let's do that. See that what happens. Arts policy. More of stability. I'm okay with that. Yeah. But we're doing tributary or Tiangshui Armory. The committee planned to launch a Sichuan campaign in the future to liberate central Sichuan. The central committee relocated the arsenals in Qinghai, Ningjia, to Tiangshui, and Gansu to ensure that logistical supplies and expand the local ordnance depots and warehouses. Not bad. Um, in the meantime, though, we have all this. Storm in the north and conspiracy in the west have been eliminated. It's a great time to develop and start rectifying the fragile economy and research chaos in the base area. We open the farmers' markets. Ooh, get more political power every day. For 60 days, you get six more in total. You get a little more stability. You get one treasure, though. More food levy. Oh, God. Open markets in Baoto. I like the two raiding Mongolian supplies. Carrying out the cooperative's plot. Increase our military cost, but agriculture development will increase. Oh, we can increase everything here. Oh, that's nice. Uh, import Soviet weapons. Uh, Join military exercise. Interesting. Well, we'll do this too. Let's get the political power now to do it right now, but you know, whatever. Uh, so right now we are trying to liberate Sichuan. Begin preparation for liberating Sichuan in a totality, which would be nice and good to do. Even though we have like no guns, we've got not very much here to work with. Um, Xinjiang Civil War. Recent commanders and friends of Xinjiang have warned us that Xing Kai and the East Turkestan elements in Xinjiang seem to be stirring and secretly instigating war. Um, while we've just finished dealing with the Zuma Rebellion and the Mongolian storm at this time, our base forces are impoverished and weak. But we still have to do something. Hotan camp, huh? Xinjiang province, huh? Um, yeah, more growth. The Xing, Xingyang clothing factory. Tianxian mountains in Xinjiang are rich in water and grass, suitable for cotton cultivation and sheep grazing. The cotton wool produce are essential raw materials for the textile industry, and can be acquired to weave into clothes and hats. Expansion of the quilt factory has been beneficial to both ourselves and each other. Oh. Support Xinjiang Civil War. Um, Xing Shi Kai and the East Turkestan elements stay sharp, planning the war into the shadow after rebellion of the Maza army and Mongolian affairs. We're too weak to intervene directly in the situation in Xinjiang. Luckily, we found friends in Xinjiang. Comrade Seipidin in the north and General Ma Zongying in the south. If there had been a disagreement between us and our friend, the friend would have rejected our diplomatic offer to intervene in the war. Signing an aggression pact. Um. I'd break out. Hotan, Republic, oh, Democratic Republic of Xinjiang, Hotan, and then there's these guys, so, there's these guys, Azil, which we do kind of like, we don't really like this guy too much, Shikai, Plan Economy, Plan Economy, and they're all Plan Economy, we kind of like these guys too, Draft Party, non aggression pact between the CPC, Hotep, and Xinjiang Communist Party, Unification of Hotan, Communist Party Alliance, oh, we can't do, crap, oh, I should have the other one, are you kidding me, bro? Come on. At least give us some political power here so we can do that too. Guo Zongwu arrived at Yokohama port. Oh boy. Happy June, everybody. Happy June. I guess we'll see what happens here. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm going to turn this off screen and I'm just literally going off of the water we know here, but still. It sucks not getting any political power. It's not an aggression pact. I mean, we still fight him. We still do okay. We could have guaranteed independence to get involved, but whatever. We shouldn't. These two should be able to win, right? There's two versus one, and they're sandwich. And they're sandwich, right? This is the end of the production unit. That's pretty good. Definitely need more guns, though. We need a lot more guns. Um, growth increase. Oh boy. Uh, Tongguang Machine Factory. Xi'an, the first significant city occupied by the front, was economically affluent, industrially developed, surrounded by sublime mountains and passes that were easy to defend and the closest to the mainland, therefore. After the situation stabilized, the central government moved the scattered military factories in Shangxi to Xi'an, concentrated them and expanded them. The University of Xi'an. After listening extensively to the suggestions of the education 
educated community. The comrades in charge of the central government decided to establish a new university in Xi'an to train highly qualified personnel and integrate scientific and research forces. Land consensus. Since the great chaos of the 50s, we have not had time to update economic data for a long time, especially the farmland occupation in each country and village. The multiple forms of ownership are a mess, making it a challenge to, uh, to implement a unified policy and causing even more waste of resources, which is not conductive to development. It is necessary to find out the situation of the fields within three months so that it is not to delay production. Digging canals. Ta uh, Taohe and Huangxi are two important rivers of the Yellow River. Um, Hangshui is in Qinghai, and Taohe flows through the Qinghai and Gansu. Two rivers in history for a long time played a critical task in irrigating water. Uh, it's a pity that the Ma's army cannot manage to repair it. Now, the base has taken over the area. The heavy responsibility of governing water naturally falls. We should mobilize the mo local people under the leadership of our party to repair the river, eliminate the disaster, and develop production. Let's see what happens here. Because Di Hua? Oh, we have nothing we can vote on here, too. Eh, we might as well. Even though poverty is still getting worse. My god. It's not easy being Chinese, I guess. At this point, I mean, there's nothing else you should, you should do except get political power. That's literally all you should ever get, apparently, from what this seems like. If you don't have enough political power, you literally can't do anything, so... That's literally all you should just focus on, so. I do want to see these guys defeated since we don't like them. We prefer these guys. Oh, they're fighting over here, too. East Turkestan. I forgot about those guys, too. Oh. So they start not doing well. Um, I'll probably use consequence or something. I don't know. We'll see. Getting a cooperative pilot. Here's cost by a little bit more. We're going to go to this one. Research facilities will improve. The more research speed, too, but that's okay. Or you go over here. Academic base will improve as well. Well, I like this one. Agriculture is pretty nice to get. Uh, industrial equipment would be very good to get, though. How about we spend one for now and save one and then try to do all the other stuff later, too? 0.38. Deficit's pretty high. 60% is still not bad, though. As these guys are still slowly killing each other. Uh, seed improvements. Wheat, millet, sorghum, corn, and sweet potatoes. All these are important food crops for us and now the intensive farming. Um... Uh, of peasants are no longer enough to increase yields for food, and the power of science is urgently needed to join them. We have Soviet experts and the agronomists, agronomists among them will set up an institute to work with the researchers to improve crops. Experiment in Bend of the Yellow River. The constant flow of the river's sediment and ideal irrigation conditions have uh, made it a thousand he hectares of good land, a key farming area for the base area. Now the institute, oh look at that, China, Japan, region, Inca, oh wow. Um, research has come with the bond, agricultural research has come to the bond with just like experimental fields for improved seeds. And the seedlings have been planted and are just waiting to be blossom and to bear fruit. That's cool. Goodbye poverty. Although, um, our base area is not too vast, the situation is highly complicated. In the newly liberated areas, because the liberation is still only a few months, six months, or a year away, the local land issues have not been effectively solved and industry and commerce have not been reasonably adjusted. But, we've already passed through the most challenging times to save us almost a quarter of China. We believe that the party is still vibrant and that the reactionary forces uh, have not ended the Chinese Revolution. Decrease one level of hurt of Great Leap Forward. 50, 50 political power. Uh, they seem to be doing okay for now, but yeah. Uh, the construction core. Oh boy. This guy's not looking too good up there. Hurt of the Great Leap Forward. One level. So this is there's several levels of this, and it's hurting us quite badly, too. Um, well, we'll see in just a little bit. See how they do. And here we are at everybody, in which we are lagging just a little bit, but at the same time, we are trying to build up the s southeast downtown now to get more stability, manpower, two admin offices, and uh, let's see. We're trying to. We want to establish autonomous government in Outer Mongolia, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, right now, we're still doing all this treasure stuff. Reopen the farmers market. We actually be pretty decent. Let's do that, and we'll open the market in Baltao, Baltu. But at the same time, we're doing a field, census field. We must complete the cens land census before the next year's spring plowing if we do not complete the task of the organization on time to delay the production. The consequences are very severe. So, what's going on? We've run out of time whether we finish the land census or not. The decision will not be available anymore. So, we did go into the countryside to fight bandits. We claim stability. Uh, we'll go chasing the night as well as uh, inventory, land inventory. So, And we're supporting the Xinjiang Civil War in which the Xinjiang border region or uh, government have won and actually combined with the other... Uh, basically, both groups won. The group that we wanted to win won, and then uh, they just combined. So, uh, apparently, we can still get maybe get alliance negotiations. We still have the chance to regain General Ma Zongying's trust. The premise is that we have successfully defused Ma Hua Chan's conspiracy. Well, we don't have enough political power for anything ever. So, but we're still doing seed improvement right now. But I want to catch up speed what has happened because there's a lot. There's some other things going on. Like Guangxi has like exploded in a civil war. Uh, Li Han Hun, um, the corporate Alag Alag Agalabli. So. We'll see nowhere to escape. That's not bad. Um, the foundation of the PLFP. 
out of ammo, which is not good. Scream, which is okay. Big bombing is not good. And the fighting the inside, go and die, 130, she done. And they have special warriors, I think. Special war. Really good for special forces. And marine supply lines, so that's pretty good too. Uh, but they're doing all that stuff down there, and are we losing political power? No, we're actually getting slightly more every day. The Macedonian War. The Prussian of the Balkans finds his foes, so. Uh, Dandipon is down there. Ooh, what's going on over here? Uh, Himmler's gonna lose again. And the uh, German Civil War is raging. It is only December, of course, so. The Croatian Winter. Um, what else do we have around here? Not much else is really going on. South African War is not going well for the a, uh, OFN, so. But it is what it is, as we're slowly trying to get through what we have. But yearly deficit is still not good. I don't mind getting more political power, but that would hurt our deficit. Dead GDP ratio is now going up slightly, which is not ideal. But you know, whatever. And poverty is getting worse, but it's China. What do you expect? And... Oh! The Nippon declared control of all of Guangdong. So, should I say thanks to you? So, with the experiment in the Bend of Yellow River, which I did right before. Increase the cost and whatnot, but whatever. Algerian War, of course. Um, goodbye, poverty. If you're gonna do this again, please go ahead. Which I think I read earlier, but chasing a knight. The patrol leader with two soldiers chase the bandits to the front of the mountain pass. The bandits can't run far into the mountain, putting pulling a big cart. Let's chase them after and get back early. Yes, sir. They went over a small hill and saw the grain wagon had been robbed by the bandits, with the grain bags in a mess and the grain scattered all over the place. They should escape with the grain. Look around, chase towards the largest one. Not long after, all the way down the wild artisma led them to the middle of the dense forest, and a clearing track interrupted around the darkness of the incomparable. As soldiers searched for new clues, the captain snapped out of it and hastily ordered a retreat. They heard a sudden burst of gunfire, a soldier was shot and fell to the ground, and then saw that the retreat had been blocked by the bandits who were still closing in on them. The remaining two quickly hit behind a tree, and the captain asked, Daibao, or Dabao, did you see how many of them were there are? Five or six, you attract all aim. Yes. Dabao leaped and hurried to the next tree niche, and the bandits' bullets immediately flew. Taking advantage of this opportunity, the captain raised his gun and aimed at a foolish man crouching behind the grass and pulled the trigger. The man fell with a sound. The man fell to his death. The opposite side shouted the boss taking a bullet retreat. Once the shot passed, the surrounding, the surroundings were silent as usual. The captain hid behind a tree, calmly observing whether the enemies were still around, and turned his head to the great Dabao to report the enemy situation. The bandits seemed to run away, Captain. You were good. One shot will take out the opposite leader. At best, they are scared away. We must still continue to chase. Two people slowly move out of the bunker. Back to them to feel out on the back of the commander's remains and continue to chase the bandits. There are also two bandit dens, and of course we have good by party like I read earlier, but... Um, Sage Wan and Chongqing plan, the more the better. We're not lagging because we're trying to get to 1964, which is not bad too. And decrease one level of hurt of Greatly Forward, oh god. Greatly Forward hurts so much. Wow, that is some serious lag, holy cow. The more the better. Years of war have added to our already scarce weapon inventory until we resolve the Xinjiang issue, our weaponry is still in shambles. Most of our comrades didn't even know automatic rifles. Now, ordnance officers around the country will have to re-examine the state of weapons, maintenance, and inventory and cope with the Sichuan War soon. Sichuan and Chongqing plan. Having survived the most difficult of times, the Party Central Committee could finally take its eyes off the Northwest. Let's look around to us. To the east was Gao Zongwu's nationalist government, and Japan behind him. Something we were not yet able to deal with. To the south was Lush Sichuan. Liu Yuan Yung, along uh, the Sichuan clique, and his uncle Liu Wenhui, is puppeted to enforce a brutal rule, and giving us an excellent opportunity to deliver Sichuan, but we have to be careful to not alert Nanking. Now, we are doing better in poverty now, because, uh, we're, let's see, additional funding would not be bad to do. Uh, we're doing this stuff here, we're opening a market. Um, additionally, uh, there was a decision for the land reform that I did take off screen. There's like four decisions to take. I took one that helped do better with poverty, as well as also we did this, we, we're doing this one too. Um, help. Lower uh, already one level of a great leap forward, and then we got a second one to help lower again hurt of the great leap forward. I'm not sure what level this is at. This might be level eight, maybe out of ten. I'm not sure, but it is it is helping us out. We only have 11 divisions now because I did combine two divisions because we definitely need to core this territory. Let's get more compliance up here. This is what I'm most concerned about. It's nearly impossible to get any compliance up there, we do, but we do have a little bit more political power to work with now since we've been doing this the entire time. Um, at this point, I'm just going to beeline for political power as much as I can, but the people from far away. The Tianxi government, city government building barged into an unexpected guest. Uh, dressed in a short green sweat cloak, sweat cloak, sweat clo soaked clothes, 
Tightly tied around the waist, plate belt, face was somber and black and red, looked tightly, slightly anxious, tight, slightly anxious. Onlookers only seem to think he's a big car pusher reporter. Unexpectedly, this man found the receptionist and said he was a messenger from the Zhikang province, and after that, he was eager to meet with a senior officer. When the staff arrived for screening work, the messenger pulled out his Sichuan provincial government papers, but he always had to sit or words for the staff's interrogation. Refusing to say anything except to ask for help, I was extremely resistant during that subsequent search, refusing to hand over the letter he was carrying even after being searched, claiming that the letter could only be opened when he saw Zhu and Lai. The secretary of the city of Tianshui has submitted all the information to the central government, and the Zhikang courier temporarily stayed in the area to hack here back afterwards. There's still people that remember us. What are we fighting for? Being trapped in the northwest made people forget the meaning of existence, and laziness would disappear when the Sichuan campaign occurred. This time, the base would take the initiative and fight to liberate all of China. Um, we're going to go and consolidate like two more divi divisions or two, uh, just because we are going to get like a couple more things here as well. So, um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, that one's pretty good to take. It doesn't cost that much political power, so Great Wall Alliance. No. Letter. Dear Mao and Zhu, Tibet has been separated from China for a long time. The people are separated from the ruling system. There are always trouble around the border of Zhikang, Zhe Tibet. In recent years, the Tibetan Dao Lai has restarted the old merger of Zhikang, Tibet uni uni unity. If Huang Ying doesn't allow, he'll certainly allow Tibetan troops to force the annexation. Huang Ying is not talented, of course, having the courage to fight with one. But the military strength is really weak, only afraid that it is difficult to resist invasion and the loss of the homeland. I've also written to Chengdu, to the old leader of the Wei, Liu Wenhui, for help. But Liu Yuan Long is holding his uncle's influence. Not allowed to send troops. I know what that dude has in mind, but he's busy paying tribute to Gao Zongwu, to the official camp in Nanjing to get Sichuan away, so we must let this plan succeed. Oh crap. Xi Kang has no contact with Chang Shi. It's difficult to ask for help, but for the people of Xi Kang, I can help but ask from you. Uh, Huang Yin, Governor Xi Kang. There's a once in a lifetime opportunity to get involved in Sichuan. Component, fast troops. From a perspective of combat experience alone, our troops have always been good at mounted combat. From Zhangji to Yan'an, the battlefields of the PLA are almost inseparable from the mountains. We can proudly say we have fought well. The terrain in Sichuan is steep in the north and slow in the south, so we have to form well-trained mounted troops to do some divine warfare. Pretty much. We need plenty of guns, though. Which is why I'm also combining these guys so we don't need nearly as many guns. Ah, you see this. So they're a puppet of us, Li Fuchun, Sichuan government office, and they're not fighting each other yet. Li Wenhui. Interesting. What are we fighting for? War without declaration. Faced with the traitorous government, Gao Zongwu would think this was a meaningless Chiang, Chuang Kang infighting. The liberation of the Sichuan would probably be in our most significant military operation in 15 years. It's essentially to assure the safe and swift capture of the major towns like Chuan and Chongqing to open up a whole new dimension out of the future of the front. After we liberate the Sichuan, we can be gain, we can get a reward from a new national focus branch to constru construct Sichuan. Interesting. Research facilities. I want to do industrial equipment. I'll be honest, like, at this point, I'm just going to beeline for political power. I mean, I, we just, there's never enough. Just never enough. Is this really worth doing? Probably not. Max out that growth, which is barely anything, but whatever. So, oh, we got two Mountaineer troops. That's not bad. They're not great, but, you know, we'll take them. Better than nothing, you know? Adds one more to the War Without Declaration. And then, 8th National Congress of the Communist Party of China. So we need to focus. Oh, God. With the steady economic work in the base areas, the party is not wallowing in the failures of the past. The party organization in front still maintains the enthusiasm and vitality of the revolution, and the 8th Co Party Congress will be Congress to sum up our past mistakes and achievements. It'll be a starting point for a new future forward going to liberate China in magnificent ways. Nice. Can we invade? I'd like to invade, please. More food, levy. Um, yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh, we're at war with them? Let's go in. Go in and surround and destroy them. That's basically what you have to do. 
Rush for VPs, you know, the normal stuff. We have negative 0% stability. That's pretty impressive, I'd have to say. But happy May, everybody. Happy May. Oh, that one too. That's good. Tazi defeated. Nice. Come on. I guess fighting or are you not fighting in here? It's good. Come on. Bruh. Come on. Jesus Christ, come on. Hold. Bro, why is there a division for every single spot where there shouldn't be one? This is stupid. This is really stupid. This is, they're not mountains here. They're only they're, only, they're just forests. Bruh. Uh, three. Equipment is where it's at. Come on, just delete the enemy division. Happy June, everybody. Yeah, I don't know. You don't just you really don't get a lot here playing as a PRC or a CPC or whatever we call ourselves. These divisions suck and they're so bad. Like, I don't understand why the AI is given so much here. Like, we are god awful. We literally have nothing and we're still losing. The enemy has nothing and we're still losing. It's so bad. So we got Chongqing. I'm still gonna go with this, because it seems like this is the only one you should really ever take. Bro. How are their divisions so much better than ours? I don't understand. It literally makes no sense whatsoever. Alright, you're not going to do any of the divisions, give them to me then. This is stupid. Jesus Christ, this is so incredibly stupid. Go in and kill your own divisions off. If you don't want to help out, kill your own divisions off. Bro, the capital's literally wide freaking open. There we go. Thank God. That's so stupid. But we have the Congress, and we might have some more events soon, too, but you never know. I'll definitely do that one. Oh, establish autonomous. Oh, that's good, finally. Foundation of ethnic autonomous region would allow us to solve the problem of Outer Mongolia once and for all, and be able to fully slow our current crisis. We'll see. We will definitely see. Happy Chinese New Year! In order to promote the Gregorian calendar, the country has not had a lunar year for a long time, but the lunar New Year's Eve is a still a custom that rural people can hardly get go of. Whenever this day is approaching, all families start making preparations. The village fair is punctual with intellectuals who write couplets. A pair of couplets, ignorant vendors who sell New Year paintings, most of which are Chairman Mao or agricultural harvests. Two or five cents apiece and stick to the house for a year. The year of the Gregorian calendar is also one of the few days when families will buy meat, save a year of meat stamps to be used in something useful to buy some fatty meat. Streaky port home to make up for the oil. Female comers often to buy five or six of cloth to make new cloths for the children at home. Or clothes. 
yeah, cloth to make clothes. The common secretary Zang got up early with a large broom in the courtyard swish, sweeping the ground. The western courtyard of the old Lee is in the house of mouthwash. Heard the movement outside with the mouthwash cup pushing out the door. Hello, Zang, get up so early. It's almost New Year's Eve, so do some sanitation and look clean. New Year's again, one isn't... Uh, only one isn't enough, huh? It doesn't consider me addicted to this. It seems like to be so sarcastic. Now if Lee fussed to go to the broom close to, close to Lao Zeng and said, In fact, we have all this addiction, but the superior is not advocating for it. Hearing this, Zeng grinned, picked up a large broom and said, Come to our new house tomorrow after work. Let my wife make two dishes. Let's drink a little. Deal. New focus tree. New land reform. Many new liberated areas have not yet started the land reform, though the party's central committee has issued instructions. Where land reform is finished, we must protect the peasants' right to use the land they have acquired. In the areas where land reform has not been carried out, we must mobilize the peasants. Peasant groups must be established, and through such actions as removing bandits and bullies, reducing rents and interest rates, and distributing land, the peasants must have their land. And then the next one, uh, as much as I want to do industry again. Oh! What happened there? Oh! We separated the group. Okay. Oh god. Alright, so we still have these guys over here. Mongol Special Administrative Region. Why did it take so long for that? That's what's the point of this? We have these we didn't have do we not have this as core? I guess we've got a lot of compliance, but still. Tang Hal King. My goodness. My goodness. Cooperative. Support rate for the inner of mouse faction will slightly drop. Furthermore, um, will launch opposing rash acts advance within CPC. It will lower six percent rate for him. Well, cleanups. See, first row equals. Huh. Make money first. Accumulate first. Well, uh, furthermore. Uh, some comrades question achievements in the socialist construction, arguing that the party should not be too hasty in collectivizing agriculture, and that the most urgent task was to establish cooperatives first in the newly liberated areas. In short, we believe that these views are one-sided and can even be described as right-leaning, and that we need to build on our existing agriculture achievements and propose the, as the 8th Congress, a program to strike while the iron is hot and ride the wave of socialism in the base areas. The four cleanups. The four cleanups mean clean politics, organization, economics, and thought. Some comrades in the party believe that the Central Committee's decision to take advantage of the hot iron to pursue the victory was leftist and a reckless move, but was too adventurous, which has been proved to be flawed since the liberation of Sichuan. And the Central Committee decided to launch four cleaning ups, or cleanups during the 8th Congress, focusing on combating the revolutionary pessimism of the people. Oh. The farmer's market. I don't like doing these just because it just costs too much. Raiding Mongolian supplies. Oh, happy October, everybody. Happy October. And what do we have here? Does not exist. Yeah, that's fine. It just costs so much. 5% stability and more daily political power? That's too much, man. That is way too much, in my opinion. But it looks like we just do soon. I like that a lot. Ah, uh, yes, we will have a blue water navy someday. Now, let's look at the downtown. Um, production, you would be nice. We definitely need that production unit. You're next. Northeast downtown. Yes, please. Furthermore, four cleanups. Make money first. I do like that one, but I want to go radical with Mal, so I want more admin efficiency. We'll get that one here, too. Support interrate party? Yes. The National Defense Front is the heritage of the anti-Japanese National United Front. We must speed up industrial construction and strengthen our industrial accumulation, accumulation capacity. For the front can accumulate enough strength to thrash the Japanese invaders and traders' lackeys. Cultural protection. Recently, some ethnic minority groups have taken advantage of the time of the 8th National Congress and maliciously attacked the party's central committee. Attacking the party's central committee's ethnic policy is great hedonism and dictatorship. A small group of reactors must be deeply beaten up for, to deter other separatist forces. Industrial equipment versus industrial equipment. Oh, this is the same thing. Oh, but this one. 10% construction speed, 1% more stability. 3. Increased cost by 0 0.005. 0 0.005. But you get, this one you get infrastructure, and both go slowly improved, so this one's better to do, of none interest. Zhu and Lai at the reception room have been anxiously walking back and forth for some time. Anxious anxiety and face wrinkles in general. The water boiled tea did not drink a sip. The battle in the south was an unprecedented victory for the Free China, sweeping away the gloomy and sullen atmosphere of defeat since the Great Leap Forward. But the word driven by Mao in his editorial strike while the iron is hot and multiply the victory immediately evoked a hidden pain in Zhu's heart. In the history of the fight against the Mao's army, the Great Leap Forward economic hardship, civil unrest was in his eyes. 
After the liberation of Sichuan, on the one hand, the construction of a hundred things needed to be done, which would be enough to hit the excitement of Mao, cannot stop the project, the budget is no place to find. On the other hand, the South campaign may alarm the KMT government. All fronts are facing high uh, of Zhang Wu's stress reaction, manpower, and material resources stretched to the limit. Zhu and Lai wrote all of these situations into this year's report, and created an additional opinion letter, entrusting the secretary to send in the chairman's study. But two days have passed. The day the Congress has come in, there is still no response at all. Zhu and Lai, as not a fortune teller, he cannot guess the mind of the chairman Mao, and no responsibility to focus, uh, or to guess. So he will personally visit the door to follow up the letter of advice. After waiting half an hour, the chairman's door opened, and Chairman Mao's secretary Wang Li came out, handing the submission to Zhu with both hands with a customary smile. Premier, your document. If chairman read my report properly... Uh, yeah, Wang, uh, Wang Li paused. There's an approval for you on it. The last page of the re response, the vermilion brush was clearly approved with six large words. As you and I finish reading, don't know what to say. It makes me annoyed. Take it out. Hmm. Oh. Yes, just in case. Just in case. My god, I don't trust this anymore. So, rural equals the city. Support rate for inter-party faction will slightly increase. You're going to slowly improve. Rural equals to the city. Our party is a real competitive alliance and, uh, and economic construction. It's a right to follow the general programs of workers and peasants. Therefore, we'll continue to adhere to the fair policy of convergence between urban and rural residents in the 8th Congress without specialization or differentiation. Take full responsibility. As the people's government on the newly liberated large areas have not only been established, the part in the front do not yet have the capacity to establish complete and reliable economic organizations at the grassroots level, so we have to ask the people in the base areas to bear the profits and losses. Last question. The chairman feels that the report I wrote is all spontaneous and refuses to believe you. You are our base's bookkeeper. Read the accounts line by line of the chairman. He must be made to accept the idea of reducing the budget or the crisis, or a crisis will happen. In the face of Zhu and Lai's request, Li Zhanyan and Li Fuchun are confused. They just returned from Sichuan were dragged to the Premier before they got off the train and went home. Premier, we have started to prepare the Sichuan economic report for the chairman and I, and time might be a bit tight. I just want to combine the two reports into one, not allowing the two to speak, uh, and lie categorically asked him to add a separate column on the situation in Sichuan in the report. That night, the game with the new report to the chairman. Before in the official work, Chairman Mao always had to be polite. Sichuan, the land of heaven, saw a lot of scenery along the tour, right? Uh, not very good, Chairman. Only Li Zhanyan there to take the lead in singing the opposite. Liu Wenhui's rules to reaction has wrecked havoc in Sichuan. Now, that the spring famine has begun, the peasants are living in a very poor situation and have to recover slowly. Yes, recover slowly, Li Fuchun followed. Situation in the city. Many businessmen and capitalists fled. Industry and commerce in general, some straits. It's trying to join ventures, not good to interfere directly. Hearing these words, Mao Zedong nodded his head and as if understanding something smoked and asked, You guys come from Zhu and Lai, right? Do that one too. National autonomy. Oh, that's more political power. That's nice. Culture protection. The Brother at Army. Leader of the party. Uh. National autonomy. That makes more sense for us to do. But culture protection seems more. Maybe. Opening day. Marxism says imbalance is a universal objective law. From imbalance to balance, and from balance to imbalance, the cycle goes on forever, but to each cycle advances to a higher level. Imbalance is constant and absolute. Balance is temporary and relative. Since the liberation of Xinjiang, the national revolutionary situation is reversed, which led to the victory of our southward campaign. We should see that achievements remain, and difficulties can be overcome. No matter how hard we suffer, people are steadfast and unyielding. There's some comrades day in and day out that will only be at odds with the fiery socialist climax, as if he is the only one who understands the difficulties of the base areas the best. As if he's the only one who can speak from the heart. The sky of the world will be broken, and the sun and the moon will have no light if hundreds of millions of people in China are missing him. Such right defeatists must be purged from the party. The government's return from Sichuan or reported to us how much the local pop people embraced and welcomed us, so why couldn't they see the endless enthusiasm of the people? Not only does it, do they see it, but they also pour cold water on the people, discourage them, and waste the energy of the party and the pe people for nothing. Don't these people think that the revolutionary cause has gone too far and is to this, is disadvantage? Do they want to start an anti adventurous rampant attack on the party and obstruct the development of the revolution? Well, then I'm going to oppose the anti adventuring that is to fight the evil spirit to the end. Soon, the rectification will begin again and I hope that the comrades will unload the calendar central baggage and prepare for the vital work for the next few years. Lead delegate, long live the invincible Mao Zedong thought. All Chinese unison, long live, long live, long live. You want live. to feel proud? I want to deal with the facts. Looking at the cigarette roll handed to him by the King Shang. Bo Gu waved his hand or refused to smoke. He did not want the King of the Secret Service in front of him to change the subject. Comrade Kang Shang, I should have not dictated your part of your work. 
but I also think for others, the work of ethnic minorities must be meticulous, and can no longer go down the old way of brutality in the past. Kang Shang turned around in the reception room, the hospitality cigarette rolls, taken from the public plate, and lined up to the set back. He also didn't have the mad bit of smoking, just wanted to take the opportunity by cigarettes to ease the question of Bogu and others on the Mongolian issue. He already knew it was in the wrong, but the case of a busting Mongolian spy was still fresh in his mind, who dared to say that the purge was useless. It's not achieved. You waved your hand, and all these people were executed for espionage, but what happened afterwards? How will you explain to Chairman Mao? How can you explain to the Mongolian people? How will you explain to the Mongolian people that none of the Mongolians are good? They're all reactionaries to disable as a country. Have you ever thought about what the cadres of ethnic minorities think of us, the Han Chinese party member? How else can we start to work? Kang Cheng did not say anything, he did not dare to look back at Bogu, pretending to uh, pound his sides, dusting out the flying dust in his pants. You're the great Han nationalists. Uh, Chairman Mao has criticized, Lenin also criticized the Mensheviks. Cultural protections and party classes are in vain for you. What kind of ethnic equality are you talking about without giving political rights to ethnic minorities and lifting them out of poverty? Don't do that anymore. Well, uh, in the past, part of ethnic and religious policies have deviated, culminating in the tragedy of the Ma Zhi Yuan Rebellion. In the new era, we should adhere to the policy of ethnic autonomy and take practice or practical action in exchange for recognition and respect to minority masses. Uh, well, rebel the Red Army. The basis of which we liberate the areas of the PLA, which is also a central organization for the party in the front, to assist the people in the productive work. We must clarify the position of the PLA in the new era so that it can better serve the people. Lead a party. Adhering to the uh, leadership of the party is the essential principle for us to accomplish an excellent task of reunifying China. And the magic weapon for the perp perpetual, perpetual revolutionary vitality of our front in this new period. It's all the more important to adhere to the leadership of the party on all shows and respond to our future internal and external affairs with strict organization, discipline, and great Maoism. Yeah. Uh, oh, a little bit of lag. Uh, break the blockade. The blockade by Japan is puppets once caused the front to fall into embarrassment and even on the verge of extinction. Still, uh, we've not only survived, but our liberated areas have also expanded. Uh, we can break the blockade of the co-prosperity sphere in the new period. We have to put the critical task of breaking the blocking of the co-prosperity sphere on our schedule. Expand on the militia division. Chairman Mao uh, said to found a great militia division is a slogan. Not again, the division's all up. The country county magistrate is the division, and the secretary is a political commissar. What's the problem that they can deal with? Empty frame camp the cop. It's good to be able to take it out as a company when something really happens. The militia is very scattered. Their activities are mainly at the grassroots level. And squads, platoons, and companies. It's very difficult to have division-based activities. The regular army can't move around in divisions in one piece either. You can't have so many divisions and the regiments in normal times. And you don't need to have two or three thousand divisions in wartime. It's not possible to fight a war, and it's not possible to raise them. Such a task of militia work is to improve production, not to hinder production, to promote production, to make it bigger and but hinder production. Chairman Liu visited the factory and gave a speech. The Ministry of Mobilization wrote a document based on Chairman Liu's speech. A central committee's policy we must absolutely, uh, resolutely implement, seriously implement. We usually can't raise too many soldiers. The country's wealth is not used to expand production, but to use to raise soldiers, which is not okay. Therefore, we usually must have a limit to raise troops to a certain saturation point that can't be more. If there is more, it's not allowed. The army's out of production. Several people can only feed a soldier. We are the people's war. The militia work well enough. Although the number of soldiers raised in normal towns will out an endless number of soldiers, Chairman Liu said the factory to defend itself. Zhu Qiangqian spoke straight to the dry mouth. Uh, finally, the logic and approach of the big militia division rationalized it. In general, there's the final goal, quality and quantity. It's so hard to read it. I don't know why it is a little hard to read. New peak. The 8th Congress. Oh, it's soon come to an end. The front has ushered in. A new round of socialist climax in the recent period. We'll take Marxism, Leninism, Maoism as the theoretical core of the party, hold high the three red flags which do not fall, and muster all the energy to produce more and to reach and faster to reach socialism. So uh, I like this one a lot. I mean just getting more roads, it seems really nice. Tea Party. A small room. Oh look at that. And the Yanan uh, Welcome hotels there with smoke and zoo and lie. Bo Gu and Chen Yi, Li Chiang Quan, and others sat in a circle. The war in the Guangdong and the storm in the Peiping has just passed not long ago, as comrades have seen. If we go to the east, every step we take may cause Gao, Zongwu, Sudo, Manchu, Kuo, and even Japan's reaction in the whole co prosperity sphere. Warring against each other, our front has only re just recovered its strength. Really, it's not capable of tearing the skin with them. Zhu and Lai took the lead in breaking the silence, so today at midnight, I'm re I was really worried. So I had to get you guys in charge of diplomacy to simply have some tea and talk. Chen Yi smoked. In my opinion, it's better to rebuild the underground party in the White Zone. Bogu shook his head. No, the White Zone Underground Party was a big project that Comrade and Lai was in charge of for almost 20 years in order to preserve Xi'an. This is a big project is broken. All leaders, how much time do we have? Zhu and Lai nodded. It's true that it's difficult for the White Zone Underground Party to regain its previous scale of activity, but it's a good idea. Chen Yi was a silent for a long time, and suddenly an idea flashed to his mind. Don't we have a Hainan branch? 
Everyone glanced at each other. Okay, thoughts instantly cleared a lot. Finally opened the mind and started planning down. There is still a way. Still going upwards. No, I'm good, but whatever. The ugly truth, it's always bad to be Polish. Well, maybe not always bad, but... Slowly improve, huh? Oh, keep improving our culture. Because it's all going up, which is nice. But my god, it's going to take forever. Look at that. Peace first, huh? Well, I guess we are getting more political power now, too. Prospects. General Lin uh, is not going to be today at today's meeting. Oh, crap. Uh, he has a stomachache. Pushing away Zoo and Zoo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The pop ups. Come on, Tiano. Uh, pushing away Zoo and Lai secretary Zhao Zhao. Yi Kun closed the door of the hotel room. Outside the door, the voice of Zhao informing the heads of the meeting still came into her ears from time to time. Thanks to the quiet house, Lin Biao didn't even bother to raise his eyelids. His arm on the armrest. His body spread on the sofa, two legs crossed on the front sitting pier, and then take a blanket to the body like a cover, like a model. This was Lin Biao's regular activity every day. The whole day, to the old partner, such a, such a set of same expression. Yi Kun really can't stand, she said as gently as she could. I was dragged a long way from Xi'an to come here for a meeting, but you pretended to be sick and didn't go once. So I stayed with you for five days. I don't even understand what's in your mind. Huh? This kind of nagging in Lin Biao has heard too much and passed, he must be anxious. And now his mind, like water, pretended to not hear and squeaked. What did you say? I said you look for a young king to take the photos she has asked the secretary to send you. Yi Kun took out the briefcase, which contained a photo of Lin Biao carefully studying the anthology of Mao Zedong. Oh, tomorrow will be published in the newspaper, and the one copy will be sent to each person in the whole army. Hearing this, even Yi Kun was confused about whether her partner was motivated or not. So she dragged a chair and sat in front of Lin Biao, asking him tentatively. Are you going to the army meeting tomorrow? She was the most afraid that Lin Biao would open his mouth and say no, and her heart was in her throat. Lin Biao slowly opened her eyes, looking at Yi Kun, face eager expectation, breathlessly said, to meet with the major military leadership cadres, but also, Yi Kun, instant relief, a long breath of relief, let's just say we'll be attending the meeting tomorrow with an illness. Oh, look at that. It's not bad, but it's really low already, so. I'm still going to get more political power. I do not trust this mod anymore in terms of getting political power. Like, it's not... No, I, I, I don't trust it. You know? We never had enough political power. 11 divisions aren't bad, but, you know, we're not doing great. New peak, huh? Oh, yeah. Soviet experts. But happy April, everybody. 1965 April. Vision of the country, huh? Shaking hands. The thunders, applause, and chants of the long live the CPC echo for a long time in the hall. The 8th National Congress of the Communist Party channel successfully finished. Mao Zedong sat in front of the chairman's seat and watched the delegates reluctantly leave the venue with mixed feelings inside. Chairman Zhao and Lai stood to his side. The meeting is finished. But Mao waved his hand. Go ahead and lie. I'll sit for a while. Soon after the hall finally became clear, a few people were still sorting out the documents. Mao Zedong led a long sigh and slowly stood up. Chairman Mao. Liu Xiaoqi's voice came from behind him. Mao Zedong turned back and saw Liu Xiaoqi with a smile leaning forward slightly. The meeting is over. Why do you still stay here and wait for me, an old comrade? Mao Zedong laughed. I think that we still have to unite to us in unity. Liu Xiaoqi knew by it art and extended his right hand directly. Mao Zedong also reached out and clasped his hand. Old people, ambitious ideals. New, another new focus tree. The successful conclusion of the 8th Congress, Northwest National Defense, has reached a new stage. New national focus and proposals will be unlocked. Please inspect the national focus and Central People's Government Affairs Committee in time. <gasps> He's getting old. Oh, shnikes. Of Huang Guinian. Anti-military envisionism. Understand new types of warfare. Ooh. Modern army. Great training. Recovery of equity. Major issue outlawing personal business. Industrial collectivization. Uniforms production center. Finally, we get some really good stuff here, huh? To the countryside. Decrease one level part of the Great Leap Board. I like that a lot. Strike hard against crime. Factory community construction. Lifestyle products launch. Anti only economism. And the three major differences. It's good. Providing that stuff as well. Not bad. Ro. Commercialization. Prefer big commune. Three for one. Decrease growth. Decrease inflation. Four cleanups. Weekly stability. Oh god. Anti corruption. Anti waste. Anti bureaucracy. Anti revisionism. 
New term, Capitals Builder. Um, it's not bad either. Team Settlement. Increases GDP by 0.1 billion. Increases inflation as well. You get two here. You have to take a long time to get through this stuff here, too. Um... Well, let's do a real commercialization first. We have uh, recovered from the setback of the Great Leap Forward. It's undeniable that implementing a full-scale people's commune under the historical conditions and economic base at the time brought some harmful effects. We recognize the mistakes, actively corrected them, and achieved economic recovery. Now it is time to rely on the people, mobilize the masses, focus on developing collectivization, and meet the next socialist climax. Oh boy, so what's the next one? Breaking through the siege. Good later for him. Welcome, Comrade Lee. Jean Kwan to speak on the state of stuff. I invite Comrade Zhu and Lai to give the latest instructions. Oh, shnikes. Well, this one. PLA should be professional and specialized. Purely military revisionist ideas. Well, I'm not really sure. I kind of want to go with professional and specialized. I don't know what Mao Zedong ever did. Zhu and Lai is right here. I get three health, huh? Um, I prefer the big commune, the founding of the big community. Turn a commune must be close to integrated with the current production. Not only can it affect the current production, but also make this movement a considerable force to promote the production of more significant leap forward. The scale of the organization of the community. For the time being, generally speaking, a township and community about 2,000 households is more appropriate in some places where the vast and sparsely populated countryside, where it can be less than 2,000 families in several communities in one township. Some areas. Uh, so according to the natural terrain conditions and product product development needs, can also be merged from several townships into a township. A community of about six to seven thousand families. And so reaching ten thousand families or more than the twenty thousand families do not go against it. So, you know what what about this up to you? Should we do new types of warfare, which I personally prefer, versus anti military envisionism? Um which one do we want to do? Decrease liquid reserves versus first four. Which one should we do with this stuff over here? Strengthen the old bulk chang's military stuff. New operational manual, expand the troop, notebook of quotations, promote a prominent role, strict organization is not bad, motorized regiments are pretty good too, it's going to cost more on the side, a billion more in debt, oh god, self propelled heavy firepower, and a modern army, it's pretty nice overall, and of course great training. So let me know which one we should do, and also this one, proposal of Hyongying versus indicate of Hyongzu, meet Pan Chen, positive contact, Secret link. Interface affecting Southeast Asia is not available. Armed pilgrimage. Overrun in the Southeast. 200 foot of fire is nice. Belated consult. That's not bad, too. Ask to the West. Finally back home. Two blue to scramble. Red and forest. Hack and land. Educate youth brigade. Blood in the country of the Buddhist. And victory in the Southeast. So. I'll let me know which one of these two ways we should go, so I'll leave that up to you guys. But if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check the light is going in the description below, and see you tomorrow as we see what else we can do with good old aging Mao Zedaddy Dong. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.